Um, we've had a day packed full of sessions learning all about the different iEARN projects um, presented by different staff members here in our office. My name is Rachel Manley. I am a program manager here at iEARN USA. Um, I was a previous educator myself. Um, I taught uh, for about eight years uh, in different countries, different settings, different grade levels. Most recently, I was a fourth grade special education teacher. And I, um, over the years, have grown very passionate about global education and made the big decision about a year and a half ago to leave the classroom and join the I Earn USA team here in New York. And it's one of the best decisions I have made. I am now uh, managing the bridge program for iEARN. So today I am going to share with you a little bit about the program, um, what it does, who's involved, and um, let you hear from some of our educators who have gone through the program. So we'll give a quick overview. We'll talk a bit about um, activities in the program and its impact. I am going to spotlight a few schools we will have an educator panel where we will hear from three of our uh, rock star global educators from the Bridge Program and share a little bit about how you could get involved. So the Bridge Program, which is actually an acronym that stands for Building Respect Through International Dialogue and Global Education, is a part of the Stevens Initiative, um, which provides professional online training and curriculum-based virtual exchange activities for educators in so the, the U.S. Program, which is an acronym that's used in the Middle East and North building Africa. Building respect international dialogue and global Sorry, education. Sorry, I'm getting a bit of a background. I'm actually going to ask my panelists who are on if they could mute themselves. I think that might help. Just one second. Okay. All right, I think it's fixed. Um, so in the bridge program, um, educators from the US and educators from the Middle East and North Africa get the opportunity to engage in online professional development then they connect their students and their classrooms through asynchronous and synchronous activities that culminate in video conference connections and community and global exhibitions. So the Stevens Initiative um, is our grant funder for the Bridge Program. The Stevens Initiative is an international effort to build career and global competence skills for young people in the US and the Middle East and North Africa by growing and enhancing the field of virtual exchange, online, international, and collaborative learning. In the Bridge Program, we have in 10 countries in the Middle East and North Africa. So we have teachers in classrooms from Algeria, Egypt, Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Morocco, Palestine, Tunisia, UAE, and Yemen, who are all connecting with classrooms in the United States. You can see a few pictures here from some of our educator workshops from these partner countries. During the bridge program, educators go through four main components. They start with some form of a workshop. This typically takes place um, in their own community, in their country, and led by an experienced iEARN educator or facilitator. This is where teachers are introduced to iEARN and global collaborative projects for the first time and start to prepare themselves for the bridge program and the professional development. Then they move on to our online educators course. And this is a five to six week online course 
in which the teachers in the program are connecting with teachers from all of the partner countries to engage in conversation and dialogue around global collaborative projects, how to integrate the work into their classroom. They talk about online dialogue and how to prepare their students um, for online dialogue and exchange. They share resources and ideas and they work to select an iron project that's going to best fit their curriculum and their classroom. After they've completed that professional development piece, they move into the project practicum. During this time, they involve their entire class or a small group of students to select one of five bridge projects. Then they have their students complete the projects, connect with one another in the online space in our collaboration center, and engage in online dialogue with peers from their partner countries. The culminating event or activity of the bridge program are global and local exhibitions. Once teachers and students have completed their project, they engage in some form of local exhibition to share their work with a wider, more authentic audience. They also will engage in a global exhibition, which may take the form of a video conference or sharing some sort of media in the collaboration center to um, share out and celebrate their project work. We are coming up on our fourth cohort of educators going through the bridge program. So about two years going now. And thus far, we have conducted 40 workshops in 11 countries. Over 300 teachers have participated in the five week online course which in turn have engaged over 7,000 students collaborating in five different project practicums. Culminating in there have been more than 30 local and global exhibitions of student work. So I just wanna give a quick spotlight to a few schools um, who have engaged in the bridge project work over the last few years. The first is a teacher from Los Alamitos, California, Alan Witten. He completed the bridge program this last spring. He had a great connection and relationship with a classroom in Algeria, and they were engaging in the Future Citizens Project. So I just want to give you a quick clip. We won't watch the whole thing of his classroom as part of their culminating exhibition to wrap up their project um, connected on video conference with the class from Algeria. And send it on to Sunburst Youth Academy. You'll see some pictures later today. Oh, All about Algeria. Um, my uh, my questions are: uh, How many times does a president get reelected in your country? Well, uh, let me explain that. Uh, we have something which is normal in our country. Before we had the, the rule that uh, a president should be elected only twice, as only periods of uh, presidency, but uh, it was changed. It was extended in the recent years. So. We have a long time uh, president now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, do you guys like? Do you guys use like Instagram and Snapchat over there? Yeah. Just uh, yeah. Of course. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. We're uh, just uh, planning uh, to ask you that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm sorry. We were planning, we were planning on asking you about that. We hope that we get in touch in Cora in the first. Oh, yeah. I love seeing footage. And we really wish you were here. Oh. <laughs> How I wish you were here. We just 
video it just really really captures um the the connection um the interest the passion of these students to to reach out and connect with one another um and it shows their their interest to connect on a social level with one another and really get to know one another. It shows their desire for, for friendships across borders, across oceans, as well as their, their real interest and intrigue um, into one another's cultures. Um, and that was just a, a, a short connection and a short clip of one, two, two teachers experiences um, during the bridge program. Um, I also want to quickly share um, another video which really captures um, students perspective in the bridge program and shows what one school did to share the work with their community. Um, in this video, you'll see a school that is conducting a hunger banquet. Um, this classroom was a part of the bridge program last fall, and they chose to be a part of the Finding Solutions to Hunger project. And in that project, they research hunger and poverty around the world. They address questions like, if there's enough food in the world, then why are still people, why are people still hungry? Who's hungry around the world and why? 
And um, one of the culminating events that they can choose to do is hosting a hunger banquet. And so I am going to share this video of a school in Winchester, Virginia, John, John Hanley High School, which has um, quite a few teachers that have gone through the bridge program. Um, and they have really shown through as a fantastic school for global collaboration and global education, so much so that we are going to be hosting our international iron conference at John Hanley High School um, this July. So let's take a look at this video. You must go to a shelter for the homeless to get food, clothes, and medical care. It's not just being aware, but it's also knowing what can I do to make a difference. It starts not with me, not with you, but each one of us. I remember we were talking about like who gets to eat in a family. And then this one person was like, well, the girls don't get to eat because the boys do all of the work. Yeah, and at first we were, I was like, we were very shocked, and then we were like, oh, wait, that's how it is. <laughs> it's very eye opening. Basically, we are conferring with students in other countries about things that we've learned about hunger and learning where hunger was, which was actually really surprising because it wasn't where I thought it was at all. Two waiters from the other. You said you would do that at yeah. Saudi. Arabia. This is interesting for them because it's it's authentic, it's real, it's it's current. No one in the United States is hungry. It's not something that they've read about and that's five years old. It's right now. The <laughs> Dom had this hunger banquet planned out way before we knew about it. Welcome to John Henley High School and this hunger banquet, sponsored by students in Miss Middlehouse and Miss Del Mata's classes. A random ticket gives you little control over how much food you receive in the same way people in the real world have little control which economic situation they are born into. And we have a sub and we'd be like, where's Madame? She's like, oh, I'm doing iron. I Earn came uh, to talk about this global outreach project and enables us to have lesson plans that are incorporated then into our classroom. I think it's better that we like show them rather than just tell them. Yeah. And you're not going to want to make a difference unless you like see the problem. It's going so. back to the thing with iron where yeah. we're like collaborating with the other people in the other countries. And it's better than just reading about their culture we're experiencing. <laughs> Um, that's just another example of one of the projects that takes place during the bridge program and really highlights the exhibition work that culminates the project work. Um, again, teachers in the bridge program are um, selected from one of 10 um, countries in the Middle East and North Africa, as well as the US. They are middle and high school educators um, doing the work. And they, for a semester long, they are engaged in those four main program activities, workshop, online um, educators course, engaging your students in an iron project practicum, and then culminating with um, some form of exhibition. So I will, I will end today with how you can get involved with the bridge if you're an educator or how you can share the work. But before we jump to that, um, I have three really fantastic global educators um, who are willing to join me today um, from their prospective locations and countries um, to share a little bit about their experience in the bridge program um, and how it helped them to incorporate global collaborative projects into their classrooms. So I am going to quickly introduce Oops. All right. 
So we have um, Saliha joining us from Algeria today. Um, Saliha joined the Bridge Program, I believe last year, she was one of our first educators to join from Algeria. We have Rashid from Morocco. Um, he was a Bridge educator this last spring, um, along with Olivia, who is here in New York City um, in the US. And all three of these educators had the opportunity to um, meet one another um, in Morocco this last July at our um, Iron International Conference in July. Um, so I am going to switch over so you can see their video. Great, and we will get started. Um, so I would just love to start with each of you introducing yourself, if you can let us know your name, where you're from, where you teach, what grade level and subjects you teach. And then if you also wouldn't mind sharing um, just quickly your introduction to iEARN, so when you joined the Bridge program and what project um, you joined with Bridge or if you've done any projects after Bridge, you can share um, that. So let's just go, I'm gonna go in order of my screen. So I'm gonna start with Olivia, if you wanna start us off. Sure. So hi everyone, my name is Olivia Ramirez and I work in the Bronx, New York City. I work at Marble Hill High School and I'm a science teacher. Um, what else am I supposed to say? Uh, I mostly teach science and I also teach health. And I started with iEARN in the bridge program last spring. Um, the first project that I was on was One Day in the Life in the spring of 2017. And since then, after I came back from Morocco, I am now, I'm currently in the my my school, your school project with one class uh, this semester. Great, thanks. Um, Saliha, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, uh, Saliha Abdel Hassan, I'm a high school teacher at Mustafa bin Boudaid in Constantine, Algeria. I uh, started uh, using iEARN project uh, since 2015 until now I'm uh, uh, I'm considering myself as a participant and a member in iEARN. Uh, my project was about uh, heritage, tradition, and identity, your identity and my identity. And this year, I'm just working on a new project with my country coordinator. I think it's about uh, environment. That's it. Great. Thank you, Saliha. Rashid? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rashid Shinshni. I'm from Morocco. I teach 11th and 12th grade. Uh, my experience with iEARN started firstly with Bridge program, uh, in especially with my identity or identity historical landmarks at famous places. And uh, this year, um, working uh, with different projects in iEARN because my students are, uh, are divided into four types because there are those who love finding solutions to hunger, those who focus on goals rising, education for all. And also there are those who focus on machine to Hiroshima for peace and my heroes. So I have to, to do a big effort this year of these, these different projects. That's all I think, thank you. You're very ambitious, Rashid. That's great to hear. <laughs> thank you so much. Great. Um, so the first question I would like to ask each of you is if you could share with us one to two skills that your students have gained from participating in the bridge program and iron projects. And to make it easy, we'll just we'll just keep to the same order. Okay. Um, so I would say that the main skill uh, that my students have been, as I've noticed, have been uh, growing with is uh, perspective. And to give you an example, um, a few weeks ago, I showed a video to my students who are in the My School, Your School uh, course right now. And it was a video from Malawi uh, that the students had made and had shared with us. And um, after watching the video, they completely changed their perspective on how to design the videos that they were going to make. We kind of talked about it and they realized that um, 
the the things that they had planned on showing in their video were probably not the best. They they thought about what the students were would want to see um, instead of what they wanted to show the students. Um, so in terms of that perspective, and also they also realized that they needed to do simple things like speak more slowly and not use slang and sort of speak simply uh, when they were making the video because they were now thinking about the, the audience that they were creating the video for and not simply thinking of them as, oh, this is my friend, this is my cousin, this is someone who I'm trying to share my life with, but I might also need to um, explain a lot more. So they've gotten a lot of perspective in terms of the audience that they're working with. Um, and they now know that their world looks a lot different than what, uh, what their, that my students' world looks a lot different from what their peers' world might look like in other countries. Great. So it sounds like a lot of global perspective taking and, and even developing those skills of intercultural communication mm -hmm. as far as how they're going to present themselves um, yes. to be understood. Great. Thank you. Um, Saliha? Okay, uh, I, I think that for my uh, students, one of, I have two skills that my students gained from uh, the Stevens Initiative while participating in the bridge program and I own. The first uh, skill was, uh, I think was my students gained, uh, my students gained is their collaboration with the uh, pupils or uh, with students from different uh, parts of the world. Uh, while discussing global projects and such work or such project uh, gives them or opens their mind to understand that, uh, to understand the diversity while participating, connecting, uh, sharing their work and so on. For my students, they were so glad and proud of themselves while preparing a work, such a project and sharing it with other students with different backgrounds, different uh, uh, language and in a different places. I think a second skill that my students gain too is uh, my students generally lack access to international experience and the online uh, courses or the virtual exchange uh, gives them the opportunity or provides them the opportunity to share their work and even to improve their language. Why not perhaps this improve, improvement will be used as a tool for their future uh, career? Uh, I can say that my students have found or they confirmed, all of them confirmed that their participation or uh, the feeling of becoming a part of a global, uh, of a global uh, community uh, boost them to prepare and implement a real project work. Great, thank you so much, Saliha. I think too, it's important that a lot of our, our students who are non-native English speakers use this as a form to improve language in addition to um, increasing global understanding and, and connection, um, and also the workforce readiness, the career readiness, preparing our, our students for, for the future is very universal. Thanks. Rashid? Uh, I think the skills that my students gain from Stevens Initiatives while participating in the bridge program, the first one is related to communicative skills because my students in the class feel shy when they want to participate or speak the language. But when it comes to participating in the bridge program and they work as a group and present their work here in Morocco, in Mehdiya, in the first, in the first small uh, conference and in the international conference, when my students came, come, came back, uh, they asked me to, to provide them with dictionaries, with videos to know how to speak the language, especially the slang Americans use because they have a lot of friends and they want to interact with, to communicate with. And also they tell their friends who are in school and a lot of number of students come to me, teacher, we want to participate in I earn projects. We want to speak the language. We want to communicate. To, and this makes me really feel so happy because now, English has a place in our school. And most of students in the school want to speak English. Why? Because the international conference which we attend, I think about 50 countries all over the world, all of them speak one language, which is English. And this makes them feel aware that the importance of language to help them communicate not only within the context they are living in, 
but also with the world around. So this is the first one. So communicative skills and the importance of English. The other skill is the mutual respect. When students work in groups and they help each other, they feel that they, they work out. And the most global of the world is a really small town and this helped them learn by doing. So we move from theories to practice. So when we they use the language in the real context and this help them, help them respect each other and respect everyone from different countries in the world. So two skills are gained, communicative skills and mutual respect. Mm -hmm. That's all it. Great, thank you so much. I'm, I'm hearing that that students across classrooms are gaining um, a lot of very valuable 21st century skills, communication skills. Um, students in the Bridge program who participate in an IRON project through the Bridge program are um, gaining mutual respect and understanding of, of others. They are increasing their communication skills, um, their English skills, their intercultural and um, um, cross-cultural communication skills, um, as well as developing their perspective of, of others. Great, thank you so much. So our next question that I would love for each of you to share with us is um, shifting to the teacher and your experience in the Bridge Program. How has the Bridge Program and I Earn changed your teaching? So um, to start, uh, to explain when my uh, use of I Earn is only on one class in one day of the week. So that schedule kind of limits uh, what I can do, how often I see the students. And that's a bit of a challenge for me. So it has been a challenge as a teacher um, and a stretch in terms of the, the kinds of skills that I'm using. The first thing that I would say is that I have, and this is a normal skill as a teacher, but I've flex this muscle is to have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C on what I'm going to do on the day that I'm scheduled to see my students for us to work with the IRON project. And that is because certain things can happen. Um, we might have no internet at my school. Um, we might have an emergency event. Um, we might have um, no updates on the IRON forum since the last time, just because other schools haven't had time to um, post. Um, and also maybe I, um, there might be issues with trips at my school. So there's a lot of reasons why it's kind of challenging to plan, but I do end up planning, okay, if this doesn't work, what can I do at this point? And if this doesn't work, what can I do then? And it really helps me be creative about how I can stretch the topic of, uh, in this case, now we're sharing our school experiences, but how I can stretch that topic so that it doesn't just rely on going to the I Earn forum and posting a comment and, and sharing a picture or something like that. I really have to use a lot of creativity in how I um, expand that topic for the students to make it more global and less, we're just going to post on this forum, we're just going to post on this forum. Um, so in addition with that, uh, another thing that I've been really lucky to do is I mentioned I'm a science teacher. And so I normally only collaborate with other science teachers, maybe a math teacher. But in, in working with IRON, I've been able to work with a history teacher in close collaboration. And that has really helped because her perspective is totally different than mine. And it really has strengthened the work that we do and we kind of bounce ideas off each other and I really appreciated the chance to work with someone else in my school that I never would have worked with before so I think that's helping my uh my planning skills a lot great thank you Olivia Saliha okay um, I think that my uh, my experience or my teaching with um, with the uh, with I earn and uh, the bridge program, I think that both have changed my uh, my way of teaching at a great extent. First, I found myself implementing my uh, project work in real life, 
As a teacher, I took part in uh, on course, uh, online course, and it is a process that I ignore completely at the beginning. Uh, something else, I think that the bridge program and uh, I earned, uh, through them, I discovered the power and the real power of the intercultural uh, communication as a tool for learning in and out of uh, the classroom. I, I think that uh, the virtual exchange helped me a lot or helps me a lot in varying my, uh, my ways and my methods in my teaching process while I'm applying, while collaborating and sharing and working. I got also a trustful uh, relationship while uh, uh, making, while discussing or through my various workshops and discussions on the global matter. Uh, I think that I, I can say that uh, while uh, working with iEARN and the Bridge program, you feel as an educator that you are really playing a positive role in your work. This is what I get from iEARN and uh, the Bridge program that I was playing a great role, a positive role in my work as a teacher. Yeah. Great, thank you. Like Rashid? Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, uh, my teaching uh, style has changed a lot thanks to uh, I earn and bridge programs. Why? Because uh, firstly, I start using projects after each unit and each project we choose is related to I earn or bridge projects. For example, when we study a unit about cultural values, etc., so we have to follow the steps provided uh, by Bridge or ION, etc. And I tell my students that this criteria is international one. So you are international learners. You have to know this, and you have to do certain projects, etc. So I prepare them implicitly to be future participants and future members of ION and Bridge programs. The second thing I gained a lot which using technology in teaching. So uh, I sometimes I create certain video clips, etc., to help my students understand the certain skills that they cannot understand in the class. And sometimes when it comes to bridge programs, I create certain video clips and explain them to the tips to follow, whether in English or other languages with, with which they feel comfortable with etc especially when i put myself in the shows of my students because it's difficult uh, to use internet connection in the area where i'm studying because of you know uh, some things beyond our control that's why we look forward some skills that we have to use so my students also gain a lot from this experience because they start thinking about project after each unit so we have projects of course but now we are working on global projects for example girls raising finding solutions to hang up Etc. And I give my students um, the freedom to choose whatever they like. And another thing which is changed in my teaching style is um, the teaching itself, because I learn and teach and I learn and teach, etc. So I become a student and a teacher at the same time. Why? Because every day I think that my skills are improving thanks to um, being a member of I Earn and, Mem and Bridge programs. Great, thank you so much, Rashid. You can see that uh, teachers in the Bridge program um, themselves gain a lot of new understanding and skills going through the professional development and then experiencing the projects um, with their students as well. Um, one thing other also to note here is that one unique thing about our professional development in the bridge program is that these educators are connecting with one another during the duration of the program as well. So they're not just connecting their students um, during the online educators course and then throughout the projects, they are communicating and connecting with the other teachers um, in their partner countries, which is developing the teachers cross-cultural understanding and communication skills um, and collaboration across, across disciplines, across subjects within your schools, as well as across countries. So thank you very much. Um, so we are going to end with um, one last question. Um, I would love for each of you to briefly answer the question of, would you recommend the bridge program for other educators in your country or other countries and why? So 
Definitely, I would recommend the Bridge Program for educators in the United States. Um, I find that, well, I work with teenagers and their um, worlds are a little bit smaller. Than oh, I think we lost, I think we lost Olivia. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully she'll be able to connect back on, but Saliha, do you wanna jump in and, and tell us why, would you recommend Bridge and why? Absolutely, absolutely, okay. Uh, I think that after attending the annual conference and the youth summit in, uh, in Morocco in 2017, the experience uh, with the Bridge program and IRN was so beneficial and fruitful for me. And it enhanced me to be more active, more involved and more engaged. Uh, as I kept working with my country coordinator about a, new, about a new project, at the same time, we are encouraging some uh, teachers to take part and to share uh, global projects and to take part also in the project program as a part of their classroom uh, program. Uh, as uh, an educator, I think that I deduce that it's so vital to involve educators to share and take part in uh, such programs uh, in order to help each other and to share and even in order to vary the way of their teaching and also to get the best uh, practices in the field of education. This is what I can say. Great. Thank you so much. You are welcome. R Rashid? Uh, I 100% recommend bridge programs to other educators all over the world uh, uh, simply because their teaching style will really get improved. I'm going to tell you just a very short story because uh, most of my students who were last year members of bridge programs, they are now in different classes. And one of the English teachers came to me and said, What happened then? Oh no, we keep losing them. Uh-oh. Oh, I think he's back. You know, I'm always impressed that with the advances in technology that we can connect somebody from, the, from New York, Algeria, and Morocco, and now we can stream it to Facebook for everybody to see. It's pretty yes. impressive. Um, okay. Great. Rashid is back. <laughs> yeah. So, as I, as I told you before, one of the English teachers came to me and said, uh, what is I earn? Because one of your students is really highly motivated in the class and they say from time to time, I earn, I earn what I earn is. And I explained I earn to him and if he really wants to be a member and he showed the great desire to be one of um, bridge members. And also other students now is studying in another high school and uh, telling other students to be members of bridge. So, and Another thing which is really very important, we mostly read about teaching outside the box, teaching outside the box and not inside the box, which is the classroom. So now with bridge programs, it is really the ability for teachers to teach students outside the box, which is outside the classroom, to be global learners, to, to improve their creativity and critical thinking and become global learners and enhance the concept of peace all over the world. So I strongly recommend great program to other teachers. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I'm glad you were able to connect again. We'll see if Olivia is um, able to get back on. But in the meantime, I do want to give a little bit of time. If there is anybody who is watching this on Facebook um, right now, if you have any questions, um, this is a great opportunity where we have um, teachers from, well, currently two, hopefully three different countries um, that you can ask about their experience with the bridge program, ask about um, their teaching experience, um, any questions that you might have for them um, or for myself about the bridge program. Um, so I'm gonna give it just a minute to see if there's any questions. their experience with the bridge program ask up well there 
There aren't any questions yet, but I do. There is a message from Faye Stump that she wants to say that that all of you are wonderful and Rashid and Olivia are worth waiting for, even with technical glitches. Um, and she wants to say hello to everybody. And many other people are saying um, such a great job and they agree with everything you are saying and have enjoyed hearing your your experiences. Let's see. All right, I don't think there are any questions. Um, so, and there, there's another person participating, Besma, who would like to say to everybody that she also highly recommends um, the Bridge program. Um, so I wanna give, if Saliha or Rashid, you have any last words you want to share with anybody to say goodbye, I'll give you the chance to do that. And then I'm going to, um, switch and share a slide for how you can get involved with IRON. Okay, if it's possible I can say uh, something. I see just that uh, thanks to seven initiatives that funded the bridge program and uh, IRON. And uh, I think that uh, I consider it as a melting pot for, uh, that brings all educators and uh, students together to learn, to develop project work, and also to learn about the best practices in the field of education. More than that, even to learn about peace in the world. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Saliha. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Uh -huh. so can I start? Uh -huh. Okay, so what I want to say, I, I really thanks million and a half Steve's initiatives bridge programs I earn for everything they do for us and for the world for the whole world um, for me uh, now I'm living with memories when it comes to remembering what we have done last year etc and I'm all desire to get involved in different projects to enhance my teaching my learning and also to involve my students and to enable them to discover the world and how projects are done it's really really so now we feel that we are part of the world because we have in the potential worlds and we have chance to meet them in the, in the in the real world in the physical world thanks to civil initiatives and bridge programs and this is really strengthens the bands between countries and spread the culture of peace all over the world because we all feel that we are members not only of a small community or our nations but we are members of the world and we feel as one body feeling each other and sharing our feelings, emotions, everything. And this is really happens thanks to what? Thanks to bridge programs, which is uh, really an international program that enables us to discover the world as ancient earlier. So thank you really, thank you so much. And what's really, it's difficult to turn my emotions or feelings into words because we know a lot of things thanks to being bridge members and I earn educators. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rashid, for those beautiful words. And thank you to both of you. Um, you are an inspiration to other educators around the world to connect your students. Um, so I really appreciate the two of you joining today to share. So for those of you watching that are interested in um, joining Bridge or learning more about the Bridge program, whoops. Um, I would just want to share very quickly some ways that you can get involved. We are currently taking applications for our spring 2018 Bridge cohort. So you can visit bridge.iearn.org to apply for that. Um, the program requirements are for teachers to be a middle or high school teacher, and you have to be teaching in one of our partner countries or in the United States. Um, and that runs throughout the majority of the spring 2018. Um, please share this opportunity out if you have colleagues, friends, family that might be interested in joining the Bridge program, please share the opportunity with them. And lastly, um, 
we would love for anybody watching and is inspired by these couple of teachers who have shared today to make a donation to help bring um, these professional development opportunities to more educators around the world and therefore be able to reach more students um, through these programs and opportunities. Um, we would appreciate any amount of donation to Iron USA. Um, you can go to us.iron.org slash donate, make a gift of any amount and help us bring programs like the Bridge Program to more educators and students around the world. So I will stop us there. Um, thanks again for those um, guest speakers today. It was great to hear from you. And thanks for those that are watching. Um, I believe we are followed by another bridge educator um, who will um, be talking a bit about some partnerships. Um, we're going to talk about focus on an I earn um, partnership and relationship building. So please stay on our Facebook page to catch our next live session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.